motherfucker on your body. I'm gonna make sure your ass is in the kitchen. You hear me? I'm make sure you dead. What's going on? Swing with me right now. Swing with me, please. Right. Hit me, bitch. Hit me. I don't know what it is about him, but for some reason, he just constantly always had my name in his mouth for some reason, uh, you know, but the, before we got onto the Ultimate Fighter, he would call me, you know, and uh, I gave him my number when we was uh, trying out, and he seemed like a really nice guy. He would call me, and I'd be like, hey, what's going on? He's like, have you heard anything? I'd be like, no, and then right after that, I would get on the show, and guys would show me text messages that were sent by him saying, oh, Marcus is afraid to get hit in the face and stuff like that. So it was, it was kind of weird because, you know, I'm a very trusting person. And I put myself out to be like that. And I'll, for him to just to turn around and hit me in the back like that or just, you know, to, to say things behind my back, I didn't understand what was going on. I don't have any bad blood towards him, but uh, I think there is some animosity between the two of us. Like, just kind of a, a person I just got along for a little bit. And then, um, you know, like uh, six weeks in the house, his personality didn't like mine and I didn't like his. So there's just, uh, it's, it'll be a good fight. It'll be fun. It'll be personal. So it'll be fun to, uh, to get in there and throw them, whether we end up on the ground or end up, end up standing up and putting each other to sleep. It'll be a damn good time. Against a guy like Marcus, I think really the best defense is a really good offense to, uh, to really to stun him up, to punch him in the face and let him know that's the way it's going to be all day long. Going into the fight, I have to understand that the most important thing in this fight is to get a W and uh, to get it as quickly as possible. I, I do have to you know, control myself when I'm in there because I do get, become a little bit emotional, especially when it's dealing with somebody who, you know, who, who, who switches back and forth. You, know, you don't know if he's going to be nice one day or if, if he's talking behind your back. It was, uh, it, was really diff it was really difficult. And actually, when I was at home and the first episode came on and I was sitting there watching with my wife and my kids and I actually hear him come on uh, the show and said that I would be an easy win, his, his easy his first win, that he, uh, my head's a big target and he would just punch me in the face. It was kind of tough to deal with that at that time because I'm like, why didn't he just say that then and why didn't he didn't ask me to fight me on the show? I'm not that type of guy who's going to stay on the outside and try to box with somebody. I mean, I'm pretty sure he knows what I do best and I know what he does best and uh, it's going to be a, you know one of those things where we go in there and whosoever will is uh, most dominant that night is going to be a person that wins. I'm pretty much sure that I'm going to put him on his back. You know, if he can stop me from taking him down, then, you know, more power to him. But until then, he's going to end up on his back. My arms are longer than his, so I'm not. Like, the reach is negligible. I'm not worried about that at all. And I've been training with, uh, with one of my, my jiu-jitsu coaches, a 6'5 guy. Uh, I training with Dan, Dan Christensen, who's, you know, 6'7", 6'8". Uh, very good at the ground. He's been walking around 280-something. Um, so, I mean, I'm, his reach, his, his ability to stretch, uh, if we get on the ground, a grapevine, uh, I'm, I'm comfortable in all those situations. I think either he's going to get knocked out quick or, um, or you know, or somebody's going to get tired and uh, finish it up. That's what I think. I don't think it's going to go three rounds at all.